why is the WWE going back to TV 14 rating? I, it's simple. I mean, to be honest, when the WWE went to TV PG in 2008, that really, it was great to see families come together to watch the sport of professional wrestling, but at the same time, it hurt the WWE. Because everybody was used to seeing blood, violence, chair shots, uh, cage matches, hell in the cell matches. Everybody was used to all that. But I mean, it comes a point in time where eventually you have to switch up the game, especially in the sport of professional wrestling. John Cena saw that he was the babyface of the PG era. And although you can have the John Cena's, the Randy Orton's, the Batistas, the Triple H's of the professional wrestling, but overall, you need a lot more than that. Because only one man and one woman or one person can do so much. It takes an industry to get wrestling going. Uh, the WWE, oh, well, let's just face it, it'll never be the same again ever since they went to TVPG. Now, the one thing that I like about uh, WWE making changes over the years is the chair shots to protect the wrestlers. Now, they banded steel chair shots to the skull, to the head, for the wrestlers, the WWE's sake. And I understand because whenever CB died, uh, that changed a lot in the industry. And everybody loves to see chair shots and skull shots and everything, but, I mean, uh, and it's a part of wrestling. But you got to protect the wrestlers. Now, the one thing I also like about uh, the sport today is that doctors and EMTs are automatically there at ringside. And there should be doctors and EMTs automatically at every sporting event, regardless of what sport you do. And the one thing I also like about it is your WWE is global. It's more worldwide now. Uh, they can travel more places. And they got connections on social media. They got more outreach on social media. Where back in the Attitude Era, on the Monday Night Wars, and even a little bit in the post era, post war era, you didn't have connections on social media, you didn't have uh, the connections like they do now. But a lot of it in the WWE today is just a lot of WWE stars don't want the brass ring, they don't want the top name, they don't want to be on top. They're just there for the money, they're just there for. 15 seconds of fame and that's it. Where in WWE, it's more than that. If you're not one to be the world champion, you should not be in the WWE at all. Now, there's very few people that want the brass ring in today's wrestling, like Drew McIntyre. Uh, Bobby Lashley, he's a question mark. Some days he's hot, some days he's not. But The Fiend, I know The Fiend definitely wants it. But he gets misused a lot. Uh, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins wants that brass ring. Roman Reigns. He's another one that wants that brass ring. Uh, DB. Daniel Bryan wants that brass ring. But it's just... It'll never be the same again. But TV14 is back because WWE is just trying their best to keep up with AEW. And I'll... Uh, Let's be face. Let's let's be uh, clear that they're beating Impact Wrestling regardless, but they're keeping up with AEW the best way they can. So the best way to keep up with AEW is to go head to head with WWE's NXT. Now NXT is like the ECW and the Attitude Era of today's wrestling. NXT is cool. It's hyped. It's hardcore. It's what you want and what you need. So NXT is the saving grace of WWE right now. 